just a little delayed, but I'd like to say howdy and thank you to every one of you for <clears throat> that nice welcome. I'm uh, sort of a, well, I like to think of myself as a country boy. The way I've been traveling around recently, I don't know if you could call me one or not. I've been in the city so much. But I come from northwestern North Carolina, as some of you probably already know, a little town called Boone. I play old-time music. It's referred to nowadays most of the time as folk music. And that's a good term for it because folk music, in its real sense of the word, is like antiques. It's products from hard-working hands or honest hearts. I'm sure that uh, if you folks enjoy the old tunes as much as I do, we'll just have a good time together. I don't feel like I'm talking down to you. I'm just going to be... Uh, right here picking for you like I would if you was down in the living room. Of course, I don't believe I could get quite all of you in my living room. <laughs> First tune I'd like to play is a tune that a fellow, Dick Hartman, put together a long time ago, and he had a group he called the Tennessee Ramblers. They played banjos and harmonicas and fiddles and all kinds of things that took turn about on it. One guy even got to wild on a four-string banjo. He'd get down below the bridge and hit a lick or two every once in a while. <laughs> This one's called Sweet Heaven When I Die. People associate uh, things like talking blues with uh, Jack Elliott and Woody Guthrie and people who came along uh, a little later in folk music than some of the old folks who recorded on the first 78 records that you used to make for the old graphophones that you had to wind up with the crank. But talking blues is a much older idea than that. It came along even before uh, Robert Lund, the fellow who played a left hand style on guitar. I never could imagine how anybody could do that. He had his own ideas about talking blues, and even some people before that made some recordings. I don't remember their names right offhand. But it's a pretty old idea in country or old-time music. Well, I've got one here that I'd like to do for you. It's called Doc's Talking. <laughs>
Got a little tale I'd like to tell to you. It's fun and foolishness, and some of it's true. There's some of it bad and some of it nice, and there's just a little of it, plain old advice. That is to you younger fellers that are thinking about getting married. I ain't talking bad about the girls. I'm just going to tell you a few facts. And, uh... I got in awful late the other night. Me and my wife had the darn despite. She pulled my hair and mashed my nose, and that didn't suit her. She stomped my toes. Wait till I got my shoes off. Stepped on my poor old ingrown toenails. One of them still hurt. Now, if you want to find trouble, I'll tell you how to do it. Just hunt a little woman and then you're into it. With a rolling pin or frying pan, she might send you to the promised land. That is, if you happen to make her mad at the wrong time or aggravate her when she's a feeling bad. Bless their hearts, they're just as sweet as they can be, but uh, if you make them too mad, they might kill you. <laughs> I was riding down the road in my Model T, a big red rooster got in front of me, kill that chicken right there on the spot, and I said, well, I guess that's the only one the old man's got, so I better go back and see about him. I drove right up to the edge of his yard. He's a chopping wood, a working awful hard. I said, sir, your rooster I'd like to replace. And he says, well, he looked me square in the face. Son, can you crow? Well, I must admit, that kind of socked me back. I was putting up turnips down on my knees When I stirred up a nest of some kind of bees It wasn't very long till I started to dance Cause more than a dozen got in my pants I was a doing a shimmy and a shake at the same time That's a twist in two directions You know that's nearly enough to make a fella run off and leave his britches And that's just what I done I didn't care if it was inside of the highway A bit of use of me working this hard. I got a pretty woman in the boss's yard. And when they have chicken, she saves me a wing. Thinks I'm working when I ain't doing a thing. I'm just laying around. Courting other women sometimes, too. And if she ever finds it out, I'm gonna be killed and then beat to death. That'd be hard to die. Went down to the hen house to look for an egg. I heard an old rooster shaking a leg. He's a strutting around and a putting on airs and a giving out orders to them hens upstairs. That old rooster was kind of preaching and the hens was sort of singing. When he took up a collection, they paid off an egg. He had uh, pretty good notions on running the place. At least he made it pay. Now this next verse will tell you how it used to be when they didn't have no stock laws and would run the pigs out in the woods till hog killing time. Sitting in the woods on a great big log, my finger on the trigger and my eye on a hog. Pulled the trigger and the gun went, jumped on the hog with all my grip. Man, I had a hard time of holding him. I could see the notches in his ears where I branded him when he was a little fella, but he was wild and a jackrabbit. Well, if you ain't used to hunting for gray squirrels to cook and eat like cooking rabbit or something, you don't know too much about what this next verse is, but uh, squirrel hunting's pretty good sport. If you like fried squirrels. Cut. Fired the gun and it made a big bang. It kicked me down and I couldn't see a thing. Dang near broke my shoulder. Worst of all, I missed my squirrel. Guitar <laughs> tunes that they played. You had to change the tune into the guitar to get a certain kind of sound out of it, the way some of the old timers like to hear it sound. And I'm afraid I'm an old timer if it comes to that because I like this sound too. I used to hear a fella, uh, Frank Hutchinson played the guitar a long time ago. He done a lot, most of his play, and some of it he didn't play with a bottleneck or a pocket knife, but the most of it he done with a, a pocket knife. And this particular tune, I'm gonna do a little different from what he done. I'm gonna 
sort of put a little of my own flavor into it. Some of you may have heard this uh, this one on the first, uh, well, it's on the volume release, but we're planning a volume two of the Watson family. It's called The Train That Carried My Girl From Town. Where was you when the train left town? Standing on a corner with my head hung down. If I had my gun, I'd let the hammer down. Lord, I'd shoot that round that took my girl from town. Hey, the train and kept my girl from town. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, she's rolling all the way from the depot. I wish to the Lord that the train would wreck, kill the engineer and break the fireman's neck. Hello, Central, give me 609. I like to talk to that woman of mine. Take the train and cabin girl from town. Hey, hey, hey. Getting cold and some dirty round it took my jelly roll. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Can you show me the woman that a man can trust? Take the train and cabin girl from town. Hey, hey, hey. There goes my girl, somebody bring her back. Oh, she's got a hand in my money. in that tune and I might as well flip the record over and play you another one since it's a sort of a, a good bluesy sound but I'll take it up in a little higher key so I can get to the to the low notes on it. I seldom ever do uh, two songs that were sort of done up by the same fella right in a row, but this time I'm going to because they're, even though they're played uh, in the same tuning, they have a completely different sound. This one's called the Worried Blues. I got the Worried Blues, I got no heart to cry. I got the weary blues, I got no heart to cry. If the blues don't kill me, Lord, I'll never die. Had a dream last night, lying all back in bed. Had a dream last night when I rolled back in bed. What'd you dream, boy? I dreamed last night that the woman of love was dead. I went to the graveyard and looked down in her face. I went to the graveyard and looked down in her face. I said, the Lord knows I love you, but I sure can't take your place. the blues so bad that I can't sleep nor eat. A lonesome boy. I got the blues so bad that I can't sleep nor eat. I just walk around like a policeman on his feet. Now when I'm gone, don't you hang crepe on my door. When I'm gone, don't you hang crepe on my door. And don't be crying either. Lord, I won't be dead. I just won't be here no more. Going 
down to the depot, take my old rocking chair. Going down to the depot, take my old rocking chair. I'm going to sit right down, I'm going to rock on away from here. Well, some people tell you that the worried blues ain't bad. Lord, some people tell you that the worried blues ain't bad. Well, it must not have been the old worried blues they had. I got the worried blues, I got no heart to cry. I got the worried blues, I got no heart to cry. If the blues don't kill me, Lord, I'll never die. I've said a few times in concerts and coffee house, uh, houses, different places where I'd play that about, oh, 45 or 50 percent, and might run a little over that. The music I got, I learned most all the old-time music I know when I was just a boy, but most, most of it was either learned from records or from my folks, my Uncle Jake Miller and Cousin Willard Watson, my dad, and learned a few songs from my mother. But about half of that came off the old 78 records that were first uh, uh, sold around in the mountain area where I lived there. Used to be a team called Burnett and Rutherford. I think one of those boys still living yet. Lives down in Kentucky. He's sort of handicapped like myself. I didn't know that till recently. But by Ned, he's got a woodwork shop back of his place, and he does all kinds of things. He makes uh, real nice pieces of furniture, a uh, uh, collector of old-time music and records and tapes and all kinds of forms that you can collect. And Gene Earl has about all the records they ever made, and he said he visited <coughs> the fellow there in not in the name of the town in Kentucky, and he said he was an amazing man, but he couldn't get him to play no more that he quit playing. One of my favorite tunes they done was a tune called A Little Stream of Whiskey. This is a song about a hobo that thought heaven was going to be just like he wanted it to be when he got there. <laughs> Just a mile west of the water tank on the cold November day In a cold and lonesome boxcar a dying hobo lay His pal sat there before him with a low and a drooping head Listening to the last words his dying buddy said Goodbye, old partner hobo, I hate to say goodbye But I hear my train a-coming and I know she's a-getting nigh Gonna tell that old conductor just where I want to stop Where the little stream of whiskey comes flowing down the rock Every kind of weather we rambled all around Rode the rods together and we slept out on the ground Oh, partner, don't you miss the train that always makes a stop Where the little stream of whiskey comes flowing down the rock Would you tell my girl in Danville that you need not to worry at all I'm a-going to that country where I won't have to work at all No, I will not have to work there, nor even change my socks And the little stream of whiskey comes flowing down the rock I'm a-going to that better place where everything is right Where the handouts grow on bushes and they sleep out every night I won't have to wash my overhauls nor even change my socks And the little stream of whiskey comes tumbling down the rock Back before I was big enough to even start thinking about playing the banjo or the guitar, either one, I, I liked music from as far back as I can remember. I remember hearing my dad and mother read reprinted uh, 
articles about a fellow named Otto Wood. He was a North Carolina band, and I'm going to own up to that. He was in my home state. I guess he had some good qualities about him. He got in a lot of trouble. And I knew a fellow uh, that said that he actually served a little time in the pen. He got in a fight and got in some trouble and served some time in the pen with Otto Wood. So he's a real character, all right. And this song tells you that, well, at least some, in some detail of what happened to him. Step up, buddies, and listen to my song. I'll sing it to you right, but you might sing it wrong. Song about a man they call Otto Wood. I can't tell you all, but I wish I could. He stepped in a pawn shop a rainy day, and then he had a quarrel with the clerk, they say. He pulled out a pistol and struck him fatal blows, and this is the way the story goes. Otto, why didn't you run? Otto's done dead and gone. I told, why didn't you run when the sheriff pulled out that 44 gun? They spread the news as fast as they could, then the sheriff served a warrant on Otto Wood. That jury said murder in the second degree, the judge passed sentence to the penitentiary. They put him in the pen, but it done no good, cause it wouldn't hold a man to call Otto Wood. It wasn't very long till he slipped outside, pulled a gun on the garden, said, take me for a ride. Otto, why didn't you run? Otto's done dead and gone. Otto, why didn't you run when the sheriff pulled out that 44 gun? time they caught him was a way out west in a hold-up game he got shot through the breast they brought him back and when he got well they locked him down in a dungeon cell he was a man that they could not run for he always carried a 44 gun he loved the women and he hated the law and he just didn't take nobody's jaw Otto why didn't you run Otto's done dead and gone I told, why didn't you run when the sheriff pulled out that 44 gun? He rambled out west and he rambled all around till he met two sheriffs in a southern town. And they says, I told, step to the way, for we've been expecting you every day. He pulled out his gun and then he said, make a crooked move and you both fall dead. You better crank up your car and take me out of town. But a few minutes later, he was graveyard bound. Otto, why didn't you run? Otto's done dead and gone. Otto, why didn't you run when the sheriff pulled out that 44 gun? From as far back as I can remember up until my father passed on, about 15 years ago. He was a singing leader over at the little Baptist church, country church where I went to church. And his, one of his favorite songs was one of the old Christian harmony songs called The Lone Pilgrim. I'd like to sing it for you. I came to the place where the lone pilgrim lay and pensively stood by his tomb when in a low whisper I heard something say how sweetly I sleep here alone the tempest may howl and the loud thunder roar and gathering storm may Come is my 
feeling at rest is my soul. The tears are all white from my eyes. <clears throat> the call of my master compelled me from home. No kindred nor relative nigh. I met with contagion and sank to the tomb. My soul flew to mansions on high. Go tell my dear children who now for me mourn to weep not for me now I'm gone. The same hand that led me through scenes most severe has kindly assisted me home. Among the breakdown tunes that I learned to uh, play on guitar or guitar and harmonica was an old tune called The Fisher's Hornpipe. <clears throat> this ain't note for note the way you might hear some of the people who really specialize in fiddling some of the old Irish tunes play it, but it's the way I learned it as a young un when I used to hear some guy played an old record. I've forgotten, I can't remember this fellow's name, but he did harmonica and guitar work. One side he had a a version of Lost John, and the other side was Fisher's Hornpipe. I'm gonna have to find out what his name was so I can not be sort of backward about talking about this tune. <clears throat> this is one of the tunes that takes about all the wind you got, and by the time you play the guitar along with it, you're out of breath and you get done with it. Some of you boys that are figuring on learning to play the harmonica and guitar have already started trying to do that. Well, you might try this. One. Gator Carlton and I did called Going Back to Jericho. We found this and Well, my father-in-law knew it even before Doc Welch recorded the tune. He knew the, the melody to this, but the fellow Doc Welch had made uh, some of the first old 78 discs for Columbia. He's one of my neighbors, too. He lives right down in Wilkes County below me. <coughs> recorded the tune Going Back to Jericho. I love to pick it like, sort of like he did. I can't play it quite as fast as he did somehow or another. I can't get my fingers limbered up that much. This will just about make you tap your toes anyhow. Thank you. 
put this little medley of tunes on a record some of these days. You can't tell. I've been studying about it in my head a little bit. Put three tunes together here. The first one's a, a little bit of an old-time tune that a fella, <coughs> Uncle Ben Miller, we all called him. He was one, one of the best old-time fiddlers the country afforded down there. He passed on now. He called it The Fiddler's Dram. It's a different tune from Give the Fiddler's Dram. And the second one is Whistling Rufus. And we'll play it for the third in the middle, medley a little bit of Ragtime Annie. <laughs> Thought I hit 
say yonder comes my boy. Hey, Miss Light, the pretty little gal. Hey, Miss Light, the Hey, Miss Light, the pretty little gal riding on that train. I don't care. I reckon 
I ain't a going nowhere. I wash my face and I can comb my hair, but it's too much wasted effort. Open the door, the flies swarm in. When I shut the door, I'm a sweating again. And in the process, I crack my shin. Just one darn thing after another. The water in the well is getting lower and lower. I can't take a bath for six months or more. I've heard it said, and it's true, I'm sure, that too much bathing will weaken you. Cow went dry and the hens won't lay. The fish all quit biting last Saturday. My troubles just keep a piling up day by day. Now I'm getting dangerous. My old gray mule, that son of a gun must be sick. I stuck him in a rump with a pin on the stick. He humped his back, but he just wouldn't kick. Now there's something gotta be cockeyed somewhere. My old hound howling so forlorn. He's the laziest dog that ever was born. He's howling cause he's sitting on a thorn and he's just too tired to move over. There's a mouse gnawing on my cupboard door. He's been at it now for, I guess, a month or more. When he gets in there, he's sure gonna be sore cause there ain't a darn thing in it. The tin roof leaks and the chimney leans hole in the seat of my old boogie. I met up the last of the pork and beans. You just can't depend on nothing. It's debts and taxes and pains and woes and aches and miseries. That's how it goes. At Dell, I'm getting the cold it but those. Life gets tasteless, don't it? <laughs> Blues uh, uh, is often thought of by uh, country folk like myself, mountaineers, that as more or less a, a music that has a lonesome sound to it, expresses a lonesome feeling. This little tune here has a, a sort of a, a happy sound to it in one sense of the word, but in another way, if you listen real close, you can hear a sort of a loneliness expressed in the parts of the melody. And the words surely tell you about a fellow who's awful homesick. It's called Blue Ridge Mountain Blues. <laughs>
with no work or worries anymore. I've got them blue ridge mountain blue. I want to hear my old old train. When he's chasing possum where them corn top blossom on that blue ridge far away. Elmore Brothers played a tenor guitar and a regular flat top box like this with the six strings on it. I used to hear them play, and some of the tunes they played, I never could figure out much of a good sounding way to play them. But there's one I worked awful hard on. I figured me out a rhythm on a song called The Deep River Blues. And I said, well, now that ain't no good by itself, so I gotta have some lead to go with that. So uh, after a few years practice, I got it to where it sounded so like this. Let it pour, let it rain a whole lot more Cause I got them deep river blues Let the rain drive right on Let the wind sweep along Cause I got them deep river blues My old gal's a good old pal She looks just like a waterfowl When I get them deep river blues no one to cry for me and the fish all go out on a spree when I get them deep river get down to the, any more serious part of the program here. <clears throat> There's a preacher uh, come to this part of the country down in there where I live, and it's, well, a part pretty near to where I live. The folks that live back in the, that section, some of them had never heard anything about the Bible or preaching or anything, and he decided since he took this little church, he'd do some local missionary work, and he went to these folks' house. They lived way back in the sticks, and the old boy that owned the place, was out in the field at work when he got there, and he went in the house, and the little old lady was a churning him. He introduced himself, and he sat down and talked a few minutes, and his first approach was, uh, are you lost, lady? And she said, why no, I know we're and turn from here to Bull's Gap. And he studied a minute, and he said, well, now I wonder what, how I can make her understand what I'm trying to get at. And he said, uh, what I mean is, are you living in darkness? She said, well, during the night, I've been trying to get John to put a winter in that back wall there for the past eight years, and he ain't never done it yet. <clears throat> well, he thought, I, I'm just about ready to give up, but I'll make one more try. And he talked on with her a few minutes, and in a minute he said, well, uh, did you know there's a great day coming when we all have to meet her Lord? And she said, no, I didn't. I hadn't heard a darn thing about it, and don't you tell John, because if you do, he'll be there drunk. <laughs> I 
I'll play you another kind of blues here that's got a little different kind of a flavor to it. The fellow's a little bit happy, but a little bit lonesome at the same time. It's called Setting on Top of the World. Uh, I might mention, too, it'll sound a little bit like a plug, but I never do know how to plug a record. I have a Vanguard album out that has this one and that last blues I just done there. And a whole raft more of good old-time music that I'm sure you'll enjoy. I'll tell you what, do listen to a copy of it, and then if you don't buy one, it won't be my fault. Was in the spring, one sunny day, my sweetheart left me, Lord, she went away, and now she's gone, and I don't worry, Lord, I'm sitting on top of the world, and don't you come here running, holding out your hand, and get me a woman, like you got your man. Now she's gone, and I don't worry, Lord, I'm sitting on top of the world. I think he's only going to cry in a minute. You don't like my features, don't you shake my tree Get out of my orchard and let my peach at be And now she's gone, and I don't worry Lord, I'm sitting on top of the world Call me up down in El Paso. She said, Come back, Daddy. Ooh, I need you so. And now she's gone. And I don't worry. Lord, I'm setting on top of the world. Uh, old time music at Clarence Ashley's volume two. There's a song called Little Sadie. I played a little pinch of backup on this, but I never sung none on that. And Mr. Clarence Ashley, one of the old timers himself, is still kicking very strong. Done some recording. He used to record for some to a couple of companies back late twenties and early thirties. My great, he just made up his mind he wasn't going to die. He's going to stay around and get into this too. I had the pleasure of helping him make some. Uh, reissues of some of the old tunes that he used to play. This particular tune happens to be one, though, that I heard before I heard him sing. My pappy in law, Mr. Gaither Carlton, helped me some of the words to this one, and I used to hear my dad play it on the band. The tune called Little Sadie. For to make a little round I met a little Sadie and I shot her down Went back home and I got in my bed Forty-four pistol under my head Waked up the next morning about half past nine The hacks and the buggies all standing in line The gents and the gamblers standing all around Taking little Sadie to her burying ground Then I begin to think of what a deed I'd done. I grabbed my hat and away I run. I made a good run, but a little too slow. They overtook me in Jericho. I was standing on the corner reading the bill when up stepped the sheriff from Thomas Hill. He says, young man, your name ain't Brown. Remember that night you shot Sadie down? I says, yes, sir, my name is Lee, and I murdered little Sadie in the first degree, in the first degree, and the second degree. You got any papers, won't you read them to me?
Took me downtown and dressed me in black Put me on the train and started me back They crammed me back in that Thomasville jail And I had no money for to go my way The judge and the jury, they took their stand The judge had the papers in his right hand Forty-one days and forty-one nights Forty-one years to wear the ball and the strike Since I've sort of converted the tune over from the banjo to the guitar, I might have uh, put just a little bit of Doc Watson flavor to it, but I, I can't help that, you know. If a man didn't have a little different style from the next fella, why, we'd have all the same kind of music all the time, even in the old-time folk music. So here's our version of the house carpenter. We've met my own true love We've met, we've met, said he I've just returned from the salt, salt sea And it's all for the love of thee I could have married the king's daughter fair She would have married me But I've forsaken her crown of gold And it's all for the love of thee Come in, come in, my old true love Come in, she said to him For it's been three, four, some a long, long year Since together we have been I can't come in, nor I can't sit down I have but a moment's time And they say that you're married to that house carpenter And your heart will never be mine You come with me, my own true love Come with me, said he And I'll take you to where the grass grows green On the banks of Vittery Then she picked up her sweet little babe Kisses she gave it three Said, stay right here, my darling little babe And keep your papa company Then she jumped upon her milk-white steed And he on his dappled gray They rode until they came to the banks of the sea Three hours before the break of day They had not been on the ship two weeks And I'm sure it was not three Until his true love began to weep and to moan And wept most bitterly is it for my silver you weep, or is it for my soul? Are you weeping for that house carpenter, whose face you'll never see no more? It's neither for your silver I weep, and it's neither for your store. But it's all for the sake of my darling little babe, that I never shall see no more. A curse, a curse to the sailor, she cried. A curse, a curse, she swore. You have robbed me of my darling little babe that I never shall see no more. They had not been on the ship three weeks, and I'm sure it was not four until they sprung a leak in the ship and it sunk her to rise no more. John Lomax and Pete Seeger recorded the song and I heard a recording of it and liked it so much that I decided I wanted to record it too most of all I decided that I liked to sing it because it was a good sounding song and it's also on the Vanguard record I mentioned a minute ago 
It's a song called The St. James Hospital. It's a sort of a forerunner. It's thought by quite a few people of the Cowboys Lament or Streets of Laredo, it's more often called. Early one morning, I passed the St. James Hospital. Early one morning, morning the month of May. When I look through the window and espied a dear cowboy, a dear cowboy as cold as the flame, sit ye down by me and hear my sad story. Sit ye down by me. And sing me a song For my poor head is aching Lord, my sad heart is breaking I'm a poor cowboy That knows he done wrong Send for that doctor To heal up my body would you send for the preacher to come and pray for my soul? For my poor head is aching and my sad heart is breaking. I'm a poor cowboy and hell is my doom. Get sixteen pretty maidens to carry my coffin Sixteen pretty maidens Come and sing me a song And tell them to bring some of them sweet smelling roses So they can't smell me as they told me alone Drum slowly and play the fire slowly. Play the death march as ye carry me along. Throw bunches of lilies all over my coffin. There goes I know they done wrong. This song, uh, Am I Born to Die, is an old Christian harmony hymn, but it's a completely different kind of a hymn from the one I sang on the earlier portion of the show. It's uh, instead of expressing a uh, calm and happy thought about of someone who had visited the tomb of a person who was uh, departed from this life, it expresses the thoughts of a person who sort of fears dying. Here's the maybe not ready to die. Anyway, I used to hear my cousin Marshall Watson, who was a preacher, sing this. And if I had a voice like he had, I don't know whether I'd need these microphones or not. He could just about shatter the window lights when it comes to singing. If he wanted to turn it loose, he'd sing it about two keys higher than I'll do this. And am I born to die? To lay this body down And must my trembling spirit fly Into a world unknown and must my trembling spirit die into a, a world unknown soon as 
of me. Separation, no more parting, no more time. 